Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, even a dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And as always, if you're already subscribed, thank you again so much for being here and spending a little part of your day with me. Today I have the April Anchor of Hope box. It came in a little bit of a different box this time around. I'm not sure if this is a permanent change. I do love the beautiful blue box that it usually arrives in. This is a really cool box with a mission. They work with refugees as well as survivors of human trafficking to create and send us gorgeous items from around the world. It is $36 per month. That does include the shipping, but they have a really great deal where you can get three months for $99. And you can use the code NOEL10 to save 10% on your subscription or even in their artist marketplace where they have all kinds of items some that have appeared in boxes as well as items that have not so definitely check it out let's go ahead and get into this box I have been kind of watching their social media and I don't think I've actually seen any spoilers for this month sometimes I just like miss it by a day or two and I was away for a couple of days so we're, it's gonna be a total surprise as we open it up so they do at least have their classic teal tissue paper and a little gold heart which is how it usually arrives and then I'm guessing that we have our product card kind of crammed in there I'm just gonna have to tear the tissue paper which you guys know I hate to do but it's must be done one of these days I'll get better about actually taking a picture of the tissue paper and the sticker before I rip into it so you can actually see that over on Instagram as well so yes indeed we do have our product card it was kind of like rolled around everything so it just always on one side tells you a little bit about anchor of hope it says who we are and what we do and then on the back it does tell you about the three items it's always three items that are included in this little lifestyle box is what I would kind of categorize it as and then they often have some beautiful pictures of the artists that have created the items so it looks like I'm gonna go ahead and read the first paragraph so instead of reading the whole thing to you I kind of alternate from month to month on reading uh, who we are or what we do so who we are we are a subscription box company that commissions refugees survivors of human trafficking and others in vulnerable situations to make handmade items through the dignity of work these individuals are able to rebuild damaged and fragile lives as they work to overcome the painful situations that have brought them to this place as we embarked on this adventure aiming only to provide an income for these precious families we saw something much greater start to happen through the relationships that have been building we see the power of community happen as people all over the world desire and purchase these handmade items items we see hope arising and it is a beautiful thing so again I just think it is a lovely mission they so they work with people here in the states like I I said refugees survivors of human trafficking as well as companies across the globe that stand for those same values so you will see sometimes items from sort of familiar companies if you subscribe to like globe in for example or cause box because it is again all ethically and sustainably sourced so I'm just gonna prop this up in front of me so that I can tell you about the individual items they don't include the retail values but you can often kind of figure it out if you go over to their artist shop and I do think you're always getting a great deal and again you know that you're doing something really positive as well so the first thing I'm seeing these are actually beautiful gorgeous I think they have like a little like charm tied on there so it did oh this is so cool so these are coasters but it looks like it had this little medallion tied on there and it just kind of came off because it's actually made out of metal and they did like the little hammered letters and it actually says Haiti which I think is so so cool that is a country I have not had the um, opportunity to visit but I would love to back back in the day when I uh, was in college I actually got to teach some Haitian students in an after-school program and so I just thought they were so amazing and I loved hearing their stories of being immigrants being young uh, immigrants and and sort of remembering their home so let's look at these hand woven coasters that of course are from Haiti and they are so pretty I love that they're two colors so this is definitely something that's really cool very like natural design but also I feel like will work in the aesthetic of a lot of homes so let me just go ahead and slide this twine off 
off so that you guys can actually see them these are so cool I think these would actually look really great I know a lot of people do basket walls as part of their home decor I don't really have a lot of extra wall space but I feel like these would be great to kind of like fill in those gaps with that sort of like woven aesthetic but these the ed edging on these is kind of like a really pretty sage green I think they're so lovely because they are actually woven I do think that even though there are kind of holes in there they will absorb some of the moisture which of course is the whole point of a coaster so they actually are pretty rigid as well they're not super flexible so I don't think they're gonna get like mushy either so these are actually really pretty it says these hand woven coasters are made by impoverished women in Haiti from the leaves of local lantania trees for these women making money through the selling of handmade goods is a way to keep their daughters in school staying in school and receiving an education is the most effective way to keep girls from being trafficked so love that and these are really really beautiful I feel like you would pick these up in like a fancy design shop and they would be a lot of money so all right let's see what else we've got something that they happily put into a little um, bag for us so just in case there was any leakage so it looks like this is the item that was actually made by the anchor of hope artisans um, and this is a room spray so they did actually label it, it says anchor of hope box and it says the scent is spread hope which I'm not really sure what that scent is but I'm sure the uh, little card here will tell us a little bit more it says this delightful room and linen spray was made by our own anchor of hope box artisans who often meet to build supportive community learn new skills and provide for their families the refugees and survivors of human trafficking who are working hard to rehabilitate rehabilitate and rebuild their lives the artisans love the experience of making room sprays but did find the labels a bit tricky we hope their off-center placement reminds you of the special hands that made your product this month I think that is so cute and that's so funny because that's definitely something that I often notice uh, with small batch items in small subscription boxes like just because I'm so OCD well, like when the label is a little bit crooked um, this label is actually on pretty good so whoever put my label on did a really nice job I'm gonna go ahead and give it a sniff so it's just in this like plastic amber colored bottle oh it actually smells a lot sweeter than I was expecting kind of kind of like smells like candy I wish they had actually told us what the fragrance was but maybe they let them get kind of creative and like do different scents I don't know what that is it smells like almost like a sweet orange or something but not like a strong citrus scent there's definitely some like fruitiness to it but I'm not really sure I kind of wish there was a little extra label on there that told me what it was but I think room sprays are really fun you know I love to burn my candles but sometimes you just need a quick spritz or you might be like leaving and it's always good to like burn your candles for an hour or two so that you don't like ruin the wick um, so if you just need a quick spritz and you're gonna be heading out and you don't want to have your candles still burning I think room sprays are great for that all right, we also got something from Marquet, which is a Vietnamese scarf, and this is a really pretty color, and I'm pretty sure that there were some different variations with this. I actually think I uh, got a little sneak peek in uh, the DMs from Anchor of Hope Box. So it says, this gorgeous wrap is made by Vietnamese artisans using locally grown silk and cotton. While the economy of Vietnam has grown steadily in recent years, poverty and gender inequalities persist, particularly among the country's ethnic minorities. The artisans who made these scarves are a group of 20 families in northern Vietnam who are paid fairly for their work and adhere to equitable labor practices. Their work helps provide for their families while preserving traditional Vietnamese craft skills. So Vietnam is a place that I have had the pleasure of visiting um, very much as a tourist, but it is a beautiful country. So it says this is a Binh Minh shawl. It is hand dyed and woven in the village of Binh Minh, Vietnam. It is 50% silk and 50% cotton. It does suggest that you hand wash and again this is from marquetfairtrade.com so this is an example of one of those larger companies that works with communities across the globe but I just wanted to unroll it a little bit for you so you could see the beautiful color and it does kind of almost have that like crepe texture so it's never going to be perfectly flat which is actually really nice for a scarf because you're always going to kind of scrunch it up but it is a nice lightweight perfect for spring this is a really pretty pretty color and I'm just trying to see if there are some like there's some like very like not really like a full tassel it's just some sort of strings so I might actually like um I may actually wind up sort of steaming this one time so that those actually lay flat but I think this color is gorgeous it's not like a color that I would normally pick out for myself but I actually kind of love that it's like this smoky blue because I feel like it's actually going to tr transition really well from spring into summer and then right back into fall and of course I don't have much need for super heavyweight scarves so this is a perfect accent and I love that it's just a solid color as well so you can definitely make it work with a lot of different outfits 
outfits without it feeling like you have too many patterns going on. Let me know though, you guys, what your favorite item in this particular Anchor of Hope was. I, I don't know. I think this was a really good box. I sometimes only like maybe two out of the three of the items or think I'll use two out of the three. I actually am surprised that I think I love the coasters. I have lots of different sets of coasters, all different styles. One of these days, I'm going to need a bigger house so I can have a set of coasters on like every side table. But I just think they're gorgeous and I kind of love the story behind them. I think the room spray is really fun. It is a little bit sweet. It's not like super fresh, but I think it will be a nice little accent to sort of like sweeten any room. And like I said, I do think this is a gorgeous color. I'm really happy. If you receive this box, let me know what color scarf you got in the comments below. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and hopefully I see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.